Hello everybody and welcome back to our Tips and Tricks series for DOT 2. My name is Michael Quincy Stratman. I'm working in tech support at MA Lighting International. In our last clip we talked about basics of effects and we talked about the high and low value and we also talked about the soft dimmer. We did it with one light. Of course, this is boring and you know all that maybe, but lots of you don't. That's why we do this series. So today we're going to start with more than one light. I select six lights and they should do this effect, the soft dimmer value. So you can see what happens. They all do an up and down. You can limit it on each light from low value to high value, all not secret, but they don't do it at the same time. So why is that? The console by default has spread this out through a range of values and this is the phase. Maybe to explain this a little bit better, you can see what happens here. Each light, if you watch only this one, it does also a slowly a soft dimmer going up and then it has a phase where it's dark and then it starts again. Each light is doing that but not at the same time. And we must have a look at this face in this one. So I clear this. Maybe this is a little bit more clearer if I show this to you without lights. So a complete circle from the value goes up, has reached a size point, goes down, then you have the face where it's dark, and then it starts again. This takes 360 degrees. This is just a mathematical thing. Don't we don't explain you why, just keep it as it is. So, a complete changes until it starts again, takes 360 degrees. Maybe we don't use this dark phase, maybe we use a position effect, then it's a little bit more clear. So, position effect. Let's say, oh, I just select my lights first. One through six, one through six. Please do effect template number seven, a sinus on tilt. What is a sinus? A sinus is this curve. So permanently changing between values, you know how and low, high and low value, low is wrong, low is down here. Whoopa. But each light is doing that, but they have different starting angles. And this is what we call the phase angle. And this is what you see here. If we check this, if we go with next through our selection, light number one, this one, starts at the phase angle zero, which is here. Light number two starts at phase angle 60. Don't wonder about the minus 60 here. We maybe come to that later. Forget about the minus. It's just, it starts at 60 degrees. So it starts here. That's why they all look different. And this is in the end what you want in an effect, that they all do something different, but they look nice if you watch all of them. So each light has a different starting angle and this is what the console does by default for you. You can influence that. We will talk about that later. So to show it a little bit better to you, maybe, or this was clear enough, but I move all of my lights. So the first one starts at zero. Let's have a look. I move them all until the first one meets the zero line. Now I spread them up just for you to show it. So the first one is at 60, the third one is at 120, and ah, it nearly fits. We have to make this a little bit bigger. Now I can show you if we speed it up a little bit, and now I put them down. You can see exactly, or nearly exactly, this is what the sinus wave does. So each light starts at a different angle and this is what makes the look. In the next clip, we've told you, we show you a little bit about how to play with the phase angle. But this is about basic of effects. Don't get bored. This is the basic what you need to know. And like I said before, you can use this knowledge on all of our effect templates. If it's color, if it's position, don't worry. So we will continue. Stay tuned, guys. Take care. Happy programming. Bye-bye.